So I and Elo, this is again Alan, the Forex Algo Trader. And in today's uh, video or a uh, lesson, I'm going to show you how to create this uh, beautiful expert advisor over here that uh, scans the market using uh, this alligator alligator indicator that uh, you can see over here that is already attached on the chart in this uh, case finds the beautiful uh, signals in this case and uh, the signals that are generated from this uh, particular expert advisor they are like uh, we use that uh, we trade the signals in this case simply put in this uh, particular instance so using the the alligator system in this uh, case we place a uh, uh, trades in this case we open orders with the the, the specific orders contain contain if we to speed this a little bit the specific orders in this case contain stop loss and take profit uh, respectively in this uh, particular instance so i think that was a little bit quicker let us see if we have another signal so right there we have a buy signal because we have the alligator indicator presenting to us a buy signal and then we take the buy signal and uh, after taking the buy signal we have we have the take profit and the stop loss uh, placed in this case you can see the points are uh, around 130 points and then uh, 170 points i think yeah whichever that uh, you want them to to do in this case and you can see this is a profitable expert advisor after all uh, in the long run in this case and uh, with careful optimization of the expert advisor it can be a really profitable one in this uh, case so the, the explanation that i can do over here for you is uh, maybe you can insert there we can maybe technically insert this expert advisor or the indicator to the chart so just go to the indicators then uh, indicators where indicators then i think it is a trend indicator is it a trend or an auxiliator in this case uh not there so let us go to custom then alligator it should be somewhere around here alligator yeah right over here it is then the alligator the alligator indicator over here you can see that is now it is an indicator in this uh, case then we have we have the juice the juice shift the period uh, I mean the teeth, teeth period in this case, then the teeth shift, then we have the lips period and the lips uh, shift in this case, then we have the moving average method which, which is not the smooth end moving average, then we have the applied uh, price which is now applied to the, to the medium price in this uh, case which means it is the medium price between the of a particular characteristic simply put in this uh, case then the colors we do not need to change anything on the color section like that do we need to change anything on the visualization section so on the inputs you can see that the it is just a simple expert advisor or an indicator in this case as uh, you can see so with just a few a few uh, methods of uh, yeah a few inputs or a uh, variable inputs of uh, yeah then just press on okay then the expert advisor uh, I mean the indicator is added to the particular to the particular chart that uh, you need it to be added to in this uh, case so right now you can see we have like uh, the, the control logic for this expert advisor is that uh, we have the lips it is like a three moving average indicator actually in this uh, case it is like a three moving average in indicator so if you can be able to code a three moving average indicator this should not be a problem for you in this case because the same control logic is uh, they have they share the same control logic that is what and simply simply mean in this case then over here you can see we have the alligator juice we have the the alligator teeth and then we have the alligator lips so the alligator lips is it is like now the first moving average in this uh, case then the alligator uh, teeth is like the middle moving average and then we have the alligator juice which is now like the move uh, the, the slow moving average in this uh, case and then again you can see whenever uh, we are below whenever the lips and the teeth uh, moving averages or uh, indicator buffers in this case respectively are below are below the the juice in this uh, case the alligator juice we just like open a sell order so we could have opened a sell order over here whenever we have this crossover and you can see we could have freed how many pips around uh, 14 
uh, let's say 1500 points, points in this case okay, so how cool is that one and then again if i were to go back this is why we buy this is why we place a buy order so we could have placed a buy order over there and then you can see again we have around uh, 1000 uh, points uh, in profit and then again you can see we could have opened whenever we have a crossover no a crossover is somewhere from here a crossover we had another crossover from here so we place a, a sell order over here and then yeah you can see it is a real uh, profitable uh, expert advisor so again we have we place a buy order over here so you can see we just like gain a few pips in this case 150 200 roughly pips uh, or a points in this case then again over here we just uh, like we, we place a buy order over here and then we place a sell order over here so it is from this candlestick and then you can see we just like uh, could have gained um, whenever we add another crossover we could have gained around the uh, around uh, how many points are these on around 80 points yeah some to, to some extent it is profitable o okay the general uh, overview of this one of this uh, algita system is that it is profitable in the general uh, view however not all trades uh, that are profitable for example over here okay this was a, a, a small profit one so yeah i'm trying to look to locate another point where we add like, like i mean this one uh, uh, yeah for example this one this over yeah we just like uh, place it, do we place a buy or a sell over yeah what kind of a chart no <laughs> no 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 uh, this this is not the the the, the one which place you just like added the the indicator only in this uh, case so the positions opened by the, on this chart are not the actual positions so right now let us then move on in this uh, case then uh, we can code this alligator beautiful system in this uh, case or a sexy system in this uh, case so the first thing that you need to do in this uh, case is uh, to open the meta editor and you can easily do this one by clicking on this little ide icon over here which activates meta editor for you and then we'll just like uh, i'll just expand the expert folder then pre-check the algo trading folder then click on new expert advisor from template which is now uh, always pre-checked in this case then click on next then we can maybe create uh, we need to provide in the file name so we can just call it uh, alligator alligator ea expert advice in this case just click on next next and then finally finish in this particular instance so the first thing that you want to do in this particular instance over here is create is uh, automatically automatically create an indicator at all so i can have something particular like this one can have an indicator handle of the of the integer that type of variable in this case so we can have handle handle uh, alligator handle alligator in this case then yeah which is basically why we store our indicator handle so that on the on in its section over here we can just go ahead and have a handle handle not yet documented well we can have okay let me compile this one so we can have handle alligator in this case and then is equals to we can now define our alligator uh, indicator over here using the i for index z then the indic indicator name which is now the alligator then over here we can see we need to provide in the symbol name symbol name can go with the current symbol then again can go with the current period then we need to provide in the juice period and the juice uh, shift in this uh, case so just add back again double click on our indicator then we can see the juice period is 13 8, 8, 5, 5, and then 3 that is what exactly i'm going to add so we can then add the juice a period the the shift is now eight and then we have eight for the teeth and then the shift for teeth is uh, should now be five and then was it eight thirteen eight eight five five and then five five and then three to, to take care of uh, those uh, things and then from here we need to provide in we need to provide in the enum ma method in this uh, case so the ma method in this case again you can just like pretty much go uh, back and then you can double click on it then you can see the moving average method is a smooth moving average method and then we apply it to the median price in this case so apply it to the median price so 
that is smoothed so smooth which is now uh, smma in this case mode ema just stands for exponential moving average then this is now low weighted moving average then we have a simple moving average then we have a smoothed moving average so we just go with the smoothed then from here we apprise the price price to the median over here in this case now respectively so right now from here we want to check that uh, if we are able to create this indicator handle in this uh, case so we can check that if if uh, if handle if handle alligator in this case our handle is equals to invalid handle which means we were unable to create the handle we just return we do not wish to continue so we just return in it uh, filled else we just go ahead and return in it succeeded in this case respectively so i can compile this one and then actually what we did over here is that i can print i can print this indicator handle so we can have and all is equals to and all is equals to then we can have and all uh, alligator over here and then i can maybe run this one on the expert advisor strategy tester so just go to your choosing over here then providing your indicator and all so it should be alligator alligator ea which is now expert advisor our expert advisor then click on next uh, start then you can see our handle is equals to 10 which is now of course integer and you can see we are able to initialize the indicator handle in the on the current chart in this uh, case which means that uh, you you can see without initializing the indicator handle we can have something like this one you can just compile this one and then you can see you can see that uh, the, the current chart in this uh, case the current uh, chart the current chart does not have our indicator which means our indicator is not initialized so we have our handle of course is now zero because we are not able to have the indicator attached to the chart so right now since we are able to since let me compile and run this one again for to see the difference so right now we are able to load up the the alligator indicator to the chart which means we can just like now get the values for this particular indicator in this uh, particular instance over here and then again you can have a look uh, at uh, what the, the shifts in this uh, case so maybe you can have a look the, the, the easiest way for you to see this one is uh, the shift for we have the shift for what these shifts over here mean this uh, geo shift is that it is pushed pushed eight bars ahead so for the geos on this chart so particularly on this uh, chart maybe let, let me scroll it shift it i mean then over here you can see this is not the geos this is no uh, the juice and then we have a shift of eight bars it should be eight bars from the current bar so you can see we have a shift of eight bars in this case the other one the teeth we have a shift of five bars and then we have a shift of three three bars for the lips in this case though so that is what uh, typically the shift means in this uh, particular instance or like if i were to shift these uh, these uh, juice so let's say negative eight it should be behind it should be behind in this case so if i start you can have a look that uh, the shift the shift for this uh, joe's indicator over here this joe's line it is eight bars from the current bar so you can see uh, you can see that uh, we have it is located exactly eight bars behind the current price in this case so the shift it, it just like it uh, doesn't really have anything to do with the expert advisor just for for plotting purposes in this uh, case so right now I can compare this one and then you can move ahead so right now because we are able to like uh, load up our expert advisor to the chart we can then again go ahead and uh, have something like uh, copy the data values from the indicator then we can use them for further analysis in this case and the easiest way to do this one is to just go ahead is to just go ahead on the on tick function in this case and then we can copy you so using the copy 
copy buffer function in this case providing the handle uh, indicator handle in this case then providing the buffer buffer number in this case so the buffer number we can just go back again over here and then you can open the data window which is a uh, control plus d or you can just go to insert then uh, data window in that case so right now again uh, the juice as uh, you can see over here it is at uh, it is at buffer number zero so let me just do this on let me delete this particular indicator so that uh, the data window is a uh, zero we have no any indicator then i can go to insert insert uh, indicators and then uh, alligator over here in this uh, case so just please uh, particularly press on okay so this is now indicator buffer number zero buffer number one and buffer number two so just is a uh, buffer zero or a index zero or a buffer number zero in this uh, case or a plot number zero and then we have uh, teeth as plot number one then indicator plot number two for the leaps in this uh, case so right now uh, just is a uh, uh, buffer number zero in this case respectively so we can have zero over here for the geos in this case just uh, have that in mind then the starting position is the starting position where we want to copy the data from maybe you want to copy the data from the current bar in this case which is now from this bar over here this is now the current bar number zero current bar, uh, bar number one two three four five six and uh, onwards uh, going uh, this way in this case going to your to your is it right hand side or uh, left hand yeah left hand side in this case so right now you can see that is not the starting position so right now we just like i uh, want to get we, we do not have a reason to copy data from this bar to this to once this side we want the current tree uh, bar so we have we can start either of the position from maybe zero one two or basically you can even start 100 but how, how the hell how the hell do you need uh, data that is that is contained at this point over here or uh, at this point over here it is meaningful or uh, i mean it is a uh, meaningless to you in this uh, case so we want data that is uh, the current data in this uh, case so right now we can have something like uh, zero yeah let, let us copy from bar number zero in this case so bar number zero which is not the current bar remember always that the computing system just starts its count from zero in this case so right now from here then we need to provide in the count the 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 count the bus number to uh, the bus data to count in this uh, case so if you provide over here if we provide two bus uh, starting from bar number zero we count two values in this case up to, uh, to towards this position then if again we start maybe from position uh, number buffer number zero one two three four five if we start from five over here then we input two we just copy for just two bars from bar number five which is now a starting position in this case so we could just like uh, go ahead okay sorry about that one so we go ahead and maybe provide in the the number of buffer that we want to copy uh, technically two bars are enough for us at this particular instance then we need to provide in the target array where we store the copied data from the alligator handle in this case so we need to provide in the geos over here so we need to like maybe come over here providing uh, an array we hold where we hold uh, our indicator uh, buffers or uh, data in this case so we can have geos geos uh, buffer just buffer then provide it in an array then again we can have double double uh, teeth teeth buffer in this uh, case then again we can have double uh, we have just teeth and then the lips let, that, let us just like uh, define them over here once and for all buffer for lips in this case so let me compile this one it does compile fine however okay we need to have something over here so we need to provide in the target array so remember for buffer for this index number zero it is it is again this juice over here that you can see it is that juice over here that you can see so we store our data in the juice array so juice is no just buffer in this case so right now you are uh, free to go in this case so you can provide that if 
if we do not like uh, if we are not able it if it is not equal to copy buffer in this case again if i were to like uh, press f1 on my keyboard you can see uh, the indicator where 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 okay what i wanted to show you cannot be shown over here so yeah so we want to check that uh, we if we do not copy these uh, buffers in this uh, case we do not want to continue because we do not have sufficient data so we just like uh, typically return in this uh, case you can just go ahead and print a print a statement in this case however for me in this particular instance i will not go ahead and print uh, anything for you in this uh, case so right now you can see we are able to copy this data to, to this uh, just buffer array over here. And then typically again, you can maybe have uh, something like uh, this one. We can use the array the array print function to print. I can print this array for you, which is now the just, just buffer in this uh, case. So I can print it. Okay, using the just buffer then providing the digits maybe let us have to or even yeah simply to then the separator i can have my separator as maybe a space and then comma in this case so we can print this data so i just simply need to click on start on this strategy tester and then over here you can see we store uh, these two uh, datas in our array okay this is a let me normalize this one to digits not two but uh, digits over here because the values do not make any sense digits for precision or accuracy in this case so we can see <coughs> in our array right now you can see we store two values which is now the uh, as you can see in this uh, instance exactly so right now if i just press uh, f control plus f to take my cross air and then for the current bar in this uh, case so maybe again i can open the data window you can see you can see that uh, for the current bar, uh, our juice is a uh, 267. This is not 272. You can have a look at here. That is what I'm looking at uh, for the juice over there. So we have uh, 267, which is now what we have uh, predefined over here or uh, printed to us in this uh, case. And then again for the uh, previous bar, we have it as 72.5. 60 in this uh, in this uh, case however so right now you can see we store two values so let me show you another difference that i want you to show to see uh, I just go back and then i can have something like a uh, mm -hmm. so for this to make even complete sense in this case i can just uh, have these as five so which means we just store five data values from the current bar in this case okay, so if i compile this one and then run it again on the strategy tester you can see you can see uh, right now over here on the joe's uh, buffer which is now buffer number zero we can see we, we store five the data values in this case which is now count five in this case in our array then we can see we have uh, for the current bar which is now uh, 72560 then the previous one is now 72 and then the other one is now 72551 which is exactly as you can see over here and then the other one uh, five one two three four five is not this one which is uh, exactly that you can see seventy two five five nine which is exact, exactly the same data that uh, that can be seen over here however uh, for this one you can see the data that is stored at uh, index number one is a uh, seventy two five five one nine in this uh, case which is not this current bar over here however we want to work with the with the it is more convenient in this case to work with the earliest data first so to alternate this one to alternate this one in this case we can just have a value we can just have a value over here we can just uh, use the array set a series you can use the array set a series on the on the uh, the array set a series function array set a series function then providing the buffer which is now we can have the joes of course uh, set it to true which means it will be uh, in a, in reversing order the elements will be placed in reversing order in this case so then again we have the teeth buffer and then finally we have the lips buffer of course so press on uh, 
yeah press on compile then everything compiles fine just as we need it to do so right now if i were to just uh, run this one on the strategy test again you can see our our data elements they will be placed in the reverse order of uh, of course or uh, automatically in this uh, case so right now you can see right now you can see that uh, for the current bar which is now the bar number zero we have it as uh, 72619 which is now the first bar over here and then the last bar which is now one two three four five which is concurrently this bar over here which is now 72601 I'm, I'm having a look at that data value over there so you can see we have 72601 which is now particularly the last bar from 012425 in this case and then you can see that is exactly what we have over here so right now we are able uh, the the bar which uh, the data which is stored at uh, index or a buffer number one in this uh, case it which is now 72619 is now for the current bar over here in this uh, case so which means we cannot be able to use that data in this case so if i were to just of course over here we need two datas and then over here we have again two in this uh, case so we can have we can maybe count two values starting from not from the current bar but from the prior bar to the current bar in this uh, case so i can compile this one and then you can see since we are starting at a buffer number one since we are starting at a buffer number one in this uh, case it means that uh, if i were to take my cursor on this uh, have a look at these juice the current we do not have bar for the current bar in this case which is now buffer number zero so for the current bar you can see it is 0.72604 but we do not have uh, that kind of uh, data in here that uh, that is because we start we chose to start at bar number one so this is now uh, determined as bar number one which is now as uh, you can see it is a uh, it is having a look at that uh, juice a buffer or a plot index it is 72601 which is now the first data that we have over here so right now uh, having uh, explained all that one i uh, think everything now should be fine for you to continue in this case and then again one more thing that i want to point out is that uh, it is not a must for you to use uh, zero as your main line in this uh, case for example you can go ahead and use the getter the getter joe line if you are very sure if or if it is permissible for you to use it if it is permissible for you to use the joe line uh, this kind of a structure name in this case so if i over my cursor over the word and then press of one the mql5 reference is opened and then you can see for the for the getter for the alligator in this case the 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 constants as you can see the identifiers of indicator lines permissible when copying copying values of uh, the alligator i alligator in this case indicator you have the the joe you can either use this a uh, constant value zero for the joe line or the main line in this case doesn't really matter you can use you can just go ahead and use the getter joe in this uh, case so using the getter joe because we are permissible to use it which makes more sense in this uh, case because you can see the getter joe then we store it to the juice buffer it is more concurrent in this uh, case then from here if again i compile this one you can see that we will get the same exact data values it doesn't have uh, any any effect it doesn't have any effect so you can see over here for the joes again for the current bar which is now uh, 72578 it is the same data that you have over here and then for the second bar we have 72567 which is exactly what we have over here so what i want to illustrate or i wanted to illustrate is that uh, it doesn't really matter if you use the getter joe line or the buffer number or, i mean the buffer constant in this uh, case the buffer constant in this uh, case so i could just like uh, go ahead and copy and then paste for the other buffers in this case so over here we can then again we need to to copy these uh, not from the jaw line we can then go to one <laughs> automatically and then over here again we can go to zero so buffer number zero one and two it doesn't again really matter because if you press f1 they will be uh, like uh, be lined up just as the the way we want them in this uh, case so right now we want to copy this is not for the teeth you know for the teeth buffer and then this is now for the lips 
okay let me check this out this is for the teeth and then the last so zero one and two is for the lips in this case so two is for the lips also which means i am completely fine in this case so right now you can see we are able to like uh, yeah <laughs> particularly have this uh, juice in this uh, case so again over here you can either choose to use one or uh, even over here for two you can use the uh, you can use the gator lips in this uh, case so it doesn't again really matter in this particular instance and then for the teeth you can use the gator teeth oh, okay you can use the gator gator teeth in this uh, case teeth line or uh, you can just leave it as the default one in this uh, case so it will just like work fine in this case so again over here do not need to print the array so i can just like go ahead in this uh, case you can use these uh, we can use these values for trading purposes once and for all for placing orders since we are able to retrieve them now so what we want over here is that we can print if statements that uh, let me see the conditions over here let, let us we want to have a by condition so which means like a condition over here that uh, whenever this uh, whenever the lips for the current buy is above the 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 teeth for the current bar so whenever lips buffer for the current bar number zero in this uh, case then uh, index zero then we want to check that uh, if this is greater than we, which means we have a crossover is greater than the teeth for the current uh, buffer index in this uh, case and then again and uh, we can have end statement and 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 again if the lips of course for the current for the current uh, buffer number or uh, index in this uh, case is above if again this ellipse is above is above the jaws is above the jaws is above the jaws for the current uh, index and then and then again we want to check that uh, if 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 what if this uh, teeth if this uh, teeth is again above above the jaws if the teeth is above the jaws if again the teeth did for the current index bar index buffer is above the jaws in this case for the current current buffer in this case we want to like particularly of course go ahead and uh, we can we can maybe print uh, by signal we can print uh, by by signal in this case so let me compile this one and uh, make sure that everything is now working fine which means we ought, uh, we have a crossover a by crossover in this uh, case so over okay we present too many signals we present too many signals for the current bar until we present many signals for the current bar only so we can have a look this is now for the fourth bar in this uh, case so we present a signal until that candle candle is uh, over so you can see you presented the the signal from 4 4 up to 459 whenever we add that crossover up to 451 yeah up to 451 in this uh, case not even 51 so we should present it up to 459 59 for the for the whole candlestick because i'm running it on a one hour time frame in this uh, case so right now you can i can just uh, disable this one and make sure that we just uh, trade once we have one signal per bar in this uh, case so for us not to have one signal per bar we can just go ahead and have some documentation over here i can have some integer variables so we can have integer integer maybe the, the current current bus in the chart current bus in the chart is equals to i bus which particularly returns the current bus providing the symbol the current bus in the chart then we have we need to provide in the period then we can have we can have a uh, integer prev previous bus in this uh, case is equals to zero then from here we can check that if 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 uh, if uh, previous okay not yet documented if uh, previous bus is equals to current bus 
in this uh, case it means we have no any new bar so we just want to return because we do not have a new bar else if we have a new bar we pass this uh, statement it means we have a new bar so we just like uh, update the previous bar to the current uh, current bars in this case respectively so right now okay again over here we need to have this as a constant because technically the constant okay not a constant but a static a static uh, variable in this uh, case because static variables are just like uh, they are just static which means they cannot be be they cannot be like uh, altered they just like uh, remain solid on each and every time they cannot be changed they are rigid in this uh, case they do not change so right now we can run this on again on the strategy test of course and then have a look at what we have in this uh, case so right now at least we we present one signal per bar in this uh, case and then again you can see we present one signal on each and every bar so midnight bar uh, one hour after midnight two hours three hours four hours after midnight that is the reason as to why is uh, to us to this is because over here you can see over here where where did you have a crossover a buy crossover uh, midnight i'm trying to locate the midnight midnight for january date three should be somewhere here so yeah so right now you can see for this bar for the midnight bar which is not date uh, three of uh, january 2022 in this uh, case we on each and every bar we just uh, present a signal because because as you can see yeah the we defined that uh, whenever we have the lips above the teeth and above the alligator and then also whenever you have the teeth above the alligator for the current bar in this case or uh, index bar number zero bar or uh, at bar far number zero we just like present uh, it in this case so we'll just like continue on until that uh, becomes a uh, negative until that condition becomes negative so, so to take, uh, maybe you can run this one again and whenever we have a crossover like uh, that one we just like present it on each and every bar in this uh, case because this condition is always true so to revert that condition we have another condition over here that uh, we have another condition over here that uh, before we add this crossover we just want to to trade on this crossover only and only on this crossover over here so what we can do over this instance over here i want to show you some logic you can see that uh, however after the crossover right now the the however after the crossover i want to use this logic so maybe i can expand this a little bit does it make any sense i don't know so uh, maybe the expansion makes it better for my explanation to come out the way i want it so right now you can see that uh, the the this alligator jaws uh, index over here is now below the teeth and the the jaw however before the crossover over here as uh, you can see is that uh, the teeth the teeth add a, add a more lesser value than the jaws so the jaws and a greater value and the teeth and a lesser value so we want to like uh, check the previous bar in this uh, case the, the 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 previous bar we want to go ahead you can go ahead and uh, have a check over here have another check so end and then we can have another check that uh, the teeth in this uh, case or uh, particularly uh, yeah the teeth in this uh, case for index number one in this case which is now the 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 bar prior to the current bar in this uh, case it was in this case should not be below in this case it is, should not be below below the the jaws jaws buffer for the current index which is now one in this case so this means that we will just present one by signal on each and every crossover that we have not on each we just like uh, alternate the alternate the condition in this case so right now let us wait and see so let us wait and see whenever we have uh, crossover 
there we have a bar signal we have a crossover so right now you can see this is now for the current bar and this is now for the previous bar okay that was too quick the previous bar should now be this one and then the current bar should now be this one so right now you can see over here this value over here it is like a greater than the, the jaw is below i mean the teeth is below the jaw and uh, after the crossover the jaw is below the teeth in this uh, case so that the, this uh thing over yeah that is what we were looking for so right now we just have one by signal and then the rest of the condition remains false because yeah <laughs> i mean you get you get the logic that i am trying to illustrate over here in this case again respectively so right now we are able since we are able to have a uh, by by uh, things in this uh, case we can then like uh, pretty much again go ahead and uh, have the same for the buy for, i mean for the sell signal so i could just copy and then paste the argumentation over here so then you can have else if then pretty much like uh, we just like need to uh, alternate these uh, these logics over here so instead of having greater than we have less than just super super easy you can see how super easy is this one once you understand everything that uh, you need in this case so again this is now a cell uh, cell signal in this case so le let us make sure that uh, we are able to present the signals correctly so i can have this back to the default so we can now have a look so we should be we are expecting a cell signal in the next how many bars in the next in the next particularly one bar so there we are we have a cell signal at uh, 8 8 I don't I don't know if it is am or pm I think it is AM in this case. Mm, yeah. Yeah, 8 AM. We have a cell signal because we have this crossover. And then since uh, we are below, uh, everything else just remains there. Uh, the same that, that condition is not altered and then again you can see we have another buy signal over here which means that our expert advice is working just completely fine as we want it to be working in these uh, in these uh, instance so right now i'll just like uh, go ahead and uh, we can right now instead of uh, having this uh, buy and sell signal printouts we can just like open uh, real positions in this uh, case and you can see how easy is uh, is uh, this one so to open to open these uh, positions all that we need to do is uh, include uh, a trading instance of yeah using the object oriented the easiest way there, there are basically i think three that i can do in this uh, case of uh, way, three ways of opening a position but the easiest one is using this uh, hashtag include include then i can have the trade then slash trade dot mq mq q h maybe basically for those who do not understand why you use this uh, c trade i mean this uh, trade include trade class in the in here yeah. for the include it means that uh, using these uh, angle brackets in this case it means the the fact that you want to include is contained in the includes folder and whenever I expand the includes folder you can find another trade folder which is exactly what we have over here and then whenever i expand the trade folder we have this trade.mqh which, which is exactly what i have in here dot mqh that which is now that file and uh, whenever i open that uh, trade folder i mean file in this uh, case you can see we have access to all the methods that we need to open a position in this case so we have access to a position open which is now can be found over here which is now the first method that i was uh, saying and then again we have the additional methods which is now uh, buy and sell methods in this case and the rest in this case yeah everything that you need so to to get access to this one we you we need to use the seed trade class to create a we need to use the seed trade class to create a trading object in this uh, uh, instance so we need to use this C trade class to create a object to object to trade in this uh, case so now using the object to trade using this uh, object to trade it means that uh, instead of having the signal print out over here uh, uh, only we can just like a particular go ahead and use the object to trade uh, object or uh, instance that we have created in in here to to like uh, open a position so position you can just like a uh, particularly use position open position 
Posi you can use position open. Where is it? Position open over here. Then providing the order type that you want to open. Or uh, again, you can go ahead and use it since you want to buy you can just use the buying method uh, directly in this uh, case however for us maybe let us change the game a little bit and use position uh, open in this case so position open which is a boolean function in this uh, case so providing the symbol name so symbol we need to provide in the symbol then you need to provide we need to provide in uh, the order type that we need to open so we need to open an order type by then providing the volume which is a uh, let's say 0 0.01 and then again we need to provide in um, the price the opening price so which means we need to define the price over here so we can have double double we can have the asking price which is now the asking price which is now equal to like uh, how do we get the price the, the the symbol symbol in for double then providing the symbol providing the symbol ask then from here yeah, maybe you can uh, normalize this to the digits in this case normalize this one to the digi digits so normalize double function that we need to call then from here from here you can just like uh, copy and paste the argumentation over here for the bid price as well for the bid price then over here we can then have the bid as well so let me compare this one of course we get some errors and warnings <laughs> because we have uh, not completed our function over here so over here we need to provide in the the price so we usually buy at the asking price in this case then we need to provide in the stop loss so, so we can just go ahead and provide in the stop loss over here so i can have another double double stop loss for buy in this uh, case is equals to now uh, stop loss this is not trade level and we need to attach the trade levels to the bid in this uh, case so if we open at a ask in this uh, case we need to attach the trading levels at the bid price so we need to uh, bid then the stop loss for a buy position is always below the opening price so minus let's say 150 points or whichever the points that uh, you want to choose then providing the point convert them to point in this case because they are certainly you know of course in points uh, form then over here i can just copy this one and then have the argumentation for the for the take profit as well so for the take profit you just need to turn it this on to positive in this case and then everything else should be fine then from here okay we need to provide in the stop loss sl then you need to provide in the take profit in this uh, case then you need to provide in the comment comment you can just leave it as null because it is a uh, uh, it has a default value or you can just go ahead and have your comment in this uh, case then from here that is now for the buy signal so you can just have the same argumentation for the sell signal over here in just immediately in this case for the sell signal so for the sell signal in this case of course we sell at the it is a order type sell in this uh, case then we need to provide in we need to provide in the we sell at the bid price bid price then the seller take profit just remain the same then we need to have the asking price so asking price that is where we attach our asking price then we need to alternate this on to positive and then negative so everything else should be working fine wow we have an error that is unexpected okay this is no symbol this is symbol so compile everything now is a uh, compiling fine just as uh, we want it to be in this case so right now i can compile it again and then run it on the strategy tester to see if everything now is working fine just as uh, we anticipate it to be so whenever we have a sell signal we should be we should place a trade so right now that uh, was real quick so yeah so we have a sell signal over here with the with the stop loss and the take profit levels in this case and then you we eat the the take profit in this case then again we wait until we have another buy crossover so whenever we have another buy crossover you can see we place a buy uh, 
position over here a buy trade for the buy signal that uh, is uh, presented and then we can have the stop loss the take profit and the stop loss as well in this uh, case and then right now from here we have another uh, sell signal which watch which was now uh, profitable uh, in this uh, case so right now you can see that our ea is working uh, completely fine just as we anticipated it to be and you can see it could be a great deal since we started with the with a deposit of 10,000 USD and then plus 2, two USD in this uh, case, uh, technically 3 USD in this uh, case. So right now, that is now everything that uh, you need to know on this uh, alligator indicator in this uh, case. And that, this is now the full uh, code for that particular expert advisor in this case. So yeah, that is now all and uh, bye bye and uh, see you on the next uh, video lesson. So bye bye.